So I am super hyped to have a pair of these bad boys right here. Not just because this colorway is one of the sickest colorways they've ever released with this shoe, but also because this shoe is honestly one of the most rare skateboarding shoes that Adidas has ever released and continues to release. Mark Gonzalez has had this shoe re-released a couple of times in skateboarding throughout the years. He has skated for Adidas, but it has been a little bit more frequent in the years of 2018 to now. But still, it is very hard to get your hands on it because sometimes they release it on Adidas site strictly. Sometimes they only release it at local skate shops. And if your shop doesn't carry Adidas skateboarding shoes, it's going to be ridiculously hard to get your hands on them. I don't even know if Zoomies carries these shoes. So with that being said, if you're watching this video right now, you may already be too late, unfortunately. But I will still talk about the ins and outs of this shoe. So let me go on ahead, get you guys prepared for what you're going to see in this shoe. And if you guys want to see me finish skateboarding this shoe and have a finished review of this shoe, make sure you guys subscribe to the page because I would definitely give you guys a finished review of this shoe. But right now, we're going to talk about the ins and outs of the Aloha Super from Adidas Skateboarding. So as you guys can see, this shoe is made with black suede, pink suede, a blue mesh tongue, and this lime green mesh heel collar. But this shoe is going to give you some pretty decent durability. This black suede on the bottom here rotates around the entire shoe, giving it a nice flick screen wrap. A lot of other people will say that this is just an upper layer of suede. I call it a flick screen because it's literally protecting the parts of the shoe that tend to get the holes fastest. Now, the pink layer of suede is actually going to come from your toe box all the way back to your side panel, giving you durability in your kickflip area and in your ollie area as a nice reinforcement um, behind the black suede here, which is really, really sick because I like the look of this black and pink together. And then to have that extra durability just makes it that much sicker. To be 100% honest with you, there's not many times in skateboarding I see a shoe where there's a piece of the shoe that I literally have no clue what its function is. But this piece of mesh right here, I have absolutely no clue what its function is. So uh, if anybody knows, let me know in the comments below. On the side panel, your three stripes are unique because normally your three stripes are made of leather and stitched on, but these three stripes are not only embossed and on the top half of the shoe, meaning that the three stripes is literally the uppermost layer of your shoe, your three stripes are made of suede and stitched down. So you can expect your three stripes to last a lot longer than your leather three stripes that you get in almost every other pair of Adidas skateboarding shoe, meaning that probably by the end of you skating the shoe, you will most likely still have all three of your stripes, or you'll definitely have a lot more of your three stripes than you would if it was a pair of leather, which a lot of people tend to only have two stripes left or one stripe left or no stripes left at all. Now, one concerning thing that you guys need to pay attention to with this shoe, if you guys have not noticed it by now, this shoe has no perforation holes at all around the entirety of the shoe. The only airflow you're gonna really get through the shoe is going to be on the mesh tongue and on the mesh heel collar. So for a shoe being released right before summer, it's gonna get hot, I'm not gonna lie to you. Another cool thing though, about the tongue being made of mesh, it's nice and moderately padded, but a nice and cool detail is that you have the Shmoo Adidas Trade Foil logo, which is, uh, I think it's pretty unique to Mark Gonzalez. I've always seen his stuff with this logo on it. So I'm gonna say it's the Mark Gonzalez logo. And it's nice and stitched on the tongue here on top of this suede. I think that's a beautiful piece added to the shoe. It makes it harder for me wanting to skate the shoe, but I knew from the moment I was able to put the shoe on my foot, I was going to skate the hell out of this shoe. Now coming over to the heel collar, you do have this nice and moderately padded mesh coming around to your heel tab here, which on the this is the right side. The right side is scripted Mark Gonzalez's initials, while on the left side, you do have your Mark Gonzalez in this nice and bold MG in a box. I think it's really sick to have two different logos. It just makes it that much sicker. It just gives you a little bit of extra like, oh damn, they put a little extra work into this, a little extra style. And it's very Mark Gonzalez. Now, the insole of the shoe is nothing to brag about. It's a regular pair of Adidas 
foam insoles, a little bit of padding on the tongue, a little bit more towards the heel, but nothing significant. It's more so made for your comfort and how your foot sits in the shoe, but it is a removable insole. It's not glued down, which means if you need a little bit more impact protection in the shoe, you can put an aftermarket insole in there and be hyped about that. Other than that, this insole is actually just a really sick look. It gives a really nice street vibe to me, and I'm really hyped on that. So now, the most important thing about this shoe is the sole. A lot of people don't know, but Mark Gonzalez's shoe is a cup sole shoe, but it is made to skate more like a balkanized shoe. What that means is that it's made to be a little bit thinner so you can feel out the board a little more, get a little bit more techy with it. And if you look at Mark Gonzalez's skateboarding, it is a little bit closer to the board. So you'd expect that he likes a lot of board feel with his shoes. So it's really, really sick to have a cup sole shoe with the extra board feel. Now that does not mean that this shoe cannot take impact. If you guys take a look at the outsole here, the midsole can be seen through this nice rubber translucent sole which shows you that right around this lime green area where it stops and meets the black suede is where the midsole stops and that's honestly pretty decently thick so i would imagine that the foam layer and the midsole there is going to help you take a little bit more impact protection but like i said before if it doesn't take enough impact for you you could remove the insoles and put your aftermarket insoles so you could take the impact you need to take in this shoe while still looking good in the shoe now with this translucent rubber sole, I will say off rip, it is very grippy. It Just touching it, it feels sticky. So I would imagine that as I skate um, with this shoe that I'm going to stick to the board a lot more than other pairs of Adidas I've had in the past, at least for the first week. And I'm really, really hyped on that because it just lets me know that I should be pretty connected to the board and I shouldn't have to worry about breaking in the shoe as hardcore as I do have to for other cup sole shoes. Now, all of this sits on top of this really nice patterned outsole. You have tray foil logos all over the outsole of this shoe and these nice circular padded sole looking pieces here. Whenever I see circular padding like this, it just shows that it's made to give you more control than anything. And then in between the tray foil and these circular padded like outsole pieces you do have deep grooves which have nothing else going on to them other than the fact that it's just deeper into the shoe but that also lets you know that as you shave this down you have a lot to go before you get to this extra smooth piece so the outsole should be pretty durable another thing to point out which i know some people really dislike this like lifted up slanted piece is here to give you a little bit more durability and to prevent like the split from the outsole and whatever piece would wrap around personally i think it's a nice aesthetic but sometimes it does get in the way we're gonna see how that works when i actually skate this shoe so like i said before if you guys want to keep up with me skating this shoe make sure you subscribe to the page because i'm definitely going to be skating these until i feel like i've gotten enough out of it to tell you guys what the shoe will skate like for you guys as i'm looking at them right now there's no way to protect your laces so as you rip them you're gonna have to replace your laces i probably will get a pair of laces from the extendedwear.com site from christian flores so i'll probably put that in the link below so you guys can get some really durable laces if you do decide to get these shoes or you just need some really durable shoelaces that won't rip within two sessions or honestly a lot of sessions because those shoelaces really really last one last cool thing that comes with your shoes is this nice bag here that is in the same colorway as your shoes i'm not going to be putting my shoes back in here because i'm skating the hell out of these shoes until they're done but i'm going to be putting other things in this bag maybe some trucks wheels i don't know anything i may need to carry around i'm really hyped on this shoe i'm hot on this box i'm hyped on everything about the mark gonzalez aloha super for 90 bucks i think you're gonna get what you need out of this shoe especially being that the 3st4s were 120 and i personally believe that these will outshine the 3st4s and i think these will outshine a couple of other adidas shoes this was the aloha super talking about all the ins and outs things you should look out for and what honestly i believe would be the best pieces of this shoe for you guys if you like this video please hit that like button for me and if you want to see me finish skating these shoes or skate the shoe and other videos make sure you subscribe to the page i'm jay skate day i do shoe reviews i do vlogs how to's and a whole bunch of other skateboarding content that is going to be coming to you guys 
very, very soon. So you won't want to miss out on it. And I'm of course going to be collaborating with a couple of other channels outside of skateboarding just to give you guys a little bit more of the lifestyle i know a lot of you want to see me vlog a little bit more and show a little bit more outside of my skateboarding so i'll be sure to give that to you guys soon so make sure you are here for the content thanks for watching this video i'm super hyped to have them i'm about to throw these on going to work and uh you guys will see me skating them peace out guys go skate and if you can grab these shoes rush to your shop and get them because i promise you online is pretty much sold out Get to your Aloha Supers or just use this shoe review or use this video to help you guys find your next pair of Aloha Supers because you're at least going to know all the ins and outs about this shoe. Peace out. Catch you next time. That's it. That's all I got for you. I got to get to work. Peace. Stuck it up, that's my recipe Let alone, that's my mental peace Bitches don't wanna get to me But I can never let it flex on me Yeah, I want it all, they want to call Don't give a fuck, it's my money or tall And if you want smoke, then we pull up at all I'm up in the race, so you suck at the wall Stuck it up, that's my recipe Let alone, that's my mental peace Bitches don't wanna get to me But I can never let it flex on me